Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM. The ROM name is, uh, if you go to settings menu on the phone you can find I am running on VADIS ROM which is this GZ ROM VADIS and uh, you can see the version 7.0 and which is based on Android version 5.0.2 so you will get extra information and other change logs and everything from here itself so talking about this ROM you can see they will uh, they have for the basic Dialer, they are using the Brolybot dialer from here and then this is the messaging app with the settings and uh, here you can see the cell broadcast as well and uh, here is the stock CM browser and then the, for the camera they are using the Google camera from there so so of the basic features if you go to the notification area you can see a beautiful uh, background there and if you tap on here it will open the alarm clock and other stopwatch and all and if you click on this one the battery you can again of the battery options from there you can choose the battery saving option and then you can turn on automatically based on the percentage of the battery so after that you have this brightness control and here you can see from here in the user section you can switch between the users very easily and then you can see the uh, toggles here you can customize all these toggles if you go to the settings menu you can see these are the first section you can see the all regular settings you used to see in almost all CM12 ROMs and then you can see by default they are using some SAN theme because of that color and here in the personalization option this ROM comes with two launchers you can choose from Trebush and then launch Nova launcher and here is the exclusive ROM features like the void from void you will get all these features like first of all about the status bar you can customize all the sta status bar options like uh, clock you can customize and then if you need Vladis log or ROM here you can add that network traffic if you want to add you can add the network traffic from here so you can see the traffic information there on the status bar and if you need you can change the battery icon you can see, show the percentage of the battery here and then you can use the brightness control so you can control the brightness from swiping here like this and then it's on notification calendar, you use super user indicator, status bar greeting if you want to add, you can add that. <laughs> so after that, uh, quick pull down options. See, so this is the quick pull down options, smart pull down option, disable on lock screen, you can disable the status bar on the lock screen. And next one is the lock screen option, you can add the middle screen shortcuts. From here, you, you can add any application to run on the lock screen, like this. So here you can see this is the middle screen option, middle short screen, short screen option. You can close that and then bottom corner shortcuts you can customize all these three icons as well from the lock screen. Then weather and then color you can customize the color and lock widget. Next one is the display settings. From here you can customize the LCD density like you can customize the PPI. Next one is the recent panel, um, recent panel, so this is the default recent panel, if you want to change that one, like if you want to clear all recent but you want to hide that thing, you can click on that one and you can position the button, clear all button of this yeah, as well. And then you can also switch, use the omni switch instead of the regular one. So. If you click on that one so you can see that this is the omni switch so you can cast, uh, you can use it as a replacement for the stock recent panel from here by clicking this one you can close all the application from here you can close all the application for, uh, other than the foreground and switch between apps from here and then menu all the options from here or all the application you can get from here so that's all about the omni switch and if you go to the next option you can see in void recent panel so that's all about the recent panel next one is the animations you can customize all the animations like east view animation and then aokp animations so it covers almost all the animations here and the toss animations and then odds and ends you can have you can customize the 
status bar career signal and you can even cast a, give any name you want to the career. Next one is the app circle bar from app circle bar you can add applications to the right side bar and then you can by tapping it you can add and then you, you can also customize the applications you can use it from there and then you can customize the trigger options as well so it's about the circle app bar and next one is gesture anywhere clicking on the gesture anywhere you can assign different gesture for different applications and functions to open from there and you can also customize the trigger position next one is the way clock blocker so this wrong comes with the way clock blocker so you can do all these things next one is the screen recorder you can customize the screen recorder options from here as well so that's all about the this thing the next one is the gesture from gesture gesture shortcuts you can customize the you can on or off the screen of gestures and then double tap to wake double tap to sleep options are there notification draw here you will get the notification options like you can customize the quick pull down options from here you can add more buttons and all and then custom color you can also customize the color and other features are here just as we already discussed and themes they are using this stock theme and you can customize almost all the aspects of the theme from here and buttons you can customize the, if you need a navigation bar on screen button you can go for that one otherwise you can go for the other one and you can also customize the default functions of each hardware keys from here and then sound and display storage battery apps super su uses system profile location in privacy you will get privacy guard blacklist filter notification and then whisper push and in language setting you can see almost all the language support almost all languages from here and then next here you can see the omni performance from here you can set the maximum and minimum speed of the processor and then you can also select the different governors and then IO scheduler from here and then developer options as usual and about phone you already discussed so that's all about the settings menu and here you can see by default the this rom comes with the add away, add away so you can block all the ads from using this application and then add audio effects for changing the audio effects for the phone and then browser calculator calendar camera we already discussed and then documents downloads file manager this is the cm file manager you can see and then gallery omni switch you can see and then this is the music application comes with uh, this rom it is the cm music application and then from these settings you can easily go to the settings menu and this is the heads up display and from synapse uh, it's not detected so that's all about this rom if you want to know how to install this rom there is a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out this is like a more smooth and customizable rom Let's check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.